Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I created this Edie Sedgwick Halloween makeup look. All right, so I already have my base on. I used the Fenty Foundation and Tarte Shape Tape. And now I'm gonna start off by contouring my face to look more like Edie's. So I'm using the Morphe 9C palette. This is my favorite contour palette. She had a much longer jaw than me and she was super skinny. So I'm really contouring my jawline. And she didn't have an intense contour, especially around her cheeks. So I'm really just trying to make my face look a little bit more narrow and long. And I'm using a Becca Cosmetics highlighting brush, but I absolutely love it for contouring. All right, next up, I'm using the Morphe M507 brush to contour my nose. Her nose was quite a bit wider than mine, and the tip of it was a little bit more buttony. So I'm kind of trying to create that effect. In retrospect, I kind of wish that I had made it look a little bit higher, but we have very different faces, so it was kind of difficult. I tried to get it as close as I could. Now I'm going to prime my lids using the Marc Jacobs Undercover Primer. And I decided to grab this light shade from the Morphe palette and create more of a highlight on the top of my nose. Alright, for my brows, I'm using Benefit Cabrow. This is in number two. Now her brows were intense, so I'm bringing my brows in a lot closer. And I'm creating more of a gradual arch, thickening them as they get farther out to the ends. To start off the eyes, I'm using the Tarte Clay Play palette. So I'm going to start going in with this dark taupey shade to really define the crease. And I'm using my Morphe E17 brush to do this. Now I'm going to go back and forth with this white shade to highlight. And then I'm going to place this all over my lids. The eye look is going to stay completely matte. I'm running a little bit of a shadow underneath my lower lash line just to cover up my creasing because she didn't have that under her eyes. And then I'm going to grab this darker gray shade and I'm going to start sketching out the crease. So something that was really popular in 60s makeup was this like intense cut crease. So I'm just going to be building this up and my brushes are going to become more detailed as the shades get darker. For the lower lash line, I'm using a little Marc Jacobs brush and I'm picking up that dark gray shade. And I'm just going to draw a line along my lower lash line. After deepening it up a little bit, I'm just going to flare it out kind of on the ends and then the inner part of the eye. It was all about the upper lashes, so this kind of acts as a shadow to intensify their effect. Now I'm grabbing the black shade and I'm really defining that cut crease using this small Marc Jacobs brush. I'm going to go in with this liner by Tarte to line my upper lashes. And I'm just going to create like a tiny little bit flick of a wing on the outer part. Nothing too intense. For blush, I'm using L'Oreal True Match. I wanted to keep it super, super natural, so I'm just going in with a light hand. And then after giving my lashes a quick curl, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara just on my top lashes. I just need something that's going to ground my falsies. Now I'm going in with these falsies by Lotus Lashes. I don't know the number, but it will be listed down below. And now I'm going in with a nude liner in my waterline. This is by City Color Cosmetics. And I'm going to be focusing this on the outer two thirds of the eye. To create the effect of her mole, I just picked up a little bit of that Benefit brow product on a little liner brush. She had a pretty thin upper lip and a bigger lower lip. So I'm making sure not to overline my lips. And I tried to follow the natural shape of her lips as much as possible. So I'm just going in with this lip liner and then I'm going to feather it around the edges. Now I'm gonna grab Dose of Colors No Shade. This is from the Desi Katie collection. And I'm gonna go all over my lips, blending into the lip liner. To finish them off, I'm using this lip gloss by Galani Cosmetics. I believe this is in the shade Sequin. And then I'm gonna pop on some classic Edie earrings. And this look is complete. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to just give this video a thumbs up. You can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. All of that is listed down below. Alright guys, again, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next one.